Hi everybody, we're gonna go over some resistance band training. Um, so a resistance band, that is a wall, is something that we're gonna need today. Uh, I'm just gonna go over a couple of exercises you can do once my, there we go. Once I don't have the walls. All right, um, so we're gonna do a chopper first. So what you would do is you would step on one part, however much resistance you want, on that part. And just like we would with a weight, you would chop up. Except this time, because the opposite leg is holding on to that band, you're not actually gonna turn. So you're not gonna have as high as a range of motion. It's still gonna be a core shoulder, but you'll notice I'm not really turning my body. So like from the side, you'll notice I'm not turning that much but I'm still getting core. It's not like I'm twisting and turning this way. Okay, so that's why you do it on each side. Then we have an upright row. So you step on the band and then we would upright row, making sure we're not bringing the elbows or I guess the shoulders up, but back and down for an upright row. Keeping the core engaged, making sure we're not locking out the knees. You can also do bicep curls this way as well. And if you bring them behind, we have thrusters. So it's a squat to overhead press. Same type of thing on that one. We've also got some good mornings. So you would stay here. I'm gonna shift to the side. So it's just like a deadlift, but a good morning is a deadlift without weight. So you bend the knees and you're still gonna hinge on back, keeping the core engaged, and then you're gonna come on right back up and you're still gonna feel that tension on the band when you do these as well. There's a couple other ones. So we got chopper, upright row, squat to overhead press thruster. Uh, we have good mornings, bicep curls, tricep extensions is another one where only one leg is gonna hook around and we're here and we're bringing those, wi those weights, <laughs> the bands back and forth, just like we would up and down, making sure that a core stays engaged for those tricep extensions. But again, you only have to step on it with one leg. Then we have your pull aparts. All right, so my favorite exercises. Uh, so I like to wrap around my hands and we have pull aparts. So you're pulling and you're squeezing behind, making sure again that core stays engaged. This is a really good shoulder one. You can also do range of motion with this where you're going around, touching your butt, not hitting walls and coming back in front is a really good shoulder mobility one that you can do. And then last but not least, you have a chest press. Um, so you would do this lying on the ground Let's see what we can do. Let's try this. So you'd be lying on the ground. It's not gonna show my full body, but that's okay. You'd wrap this around your back. I'm gonna back up a little bit. And then we would chest press up with that band. If you don't like the band around the outsides of your arms, you can bring them to the inside. You're not getting that roll on there. This is a very light band that I'm using, which is why I'm able to, to kind of bring it so that I'm not using the handles, but I'm using the band on that. Um, but that is a couple of really good, or those are a couple of really good kind of full body um, resistance band exercises. If you got any questions on those, feel free to drop a comment. If you want to do them all, you know, three by 10, three by 12, three by 15, um, for each of those exercises. Uh, drop a comment below if you've got questions.